Well, hello everybody. My name is Steve Warner, and I am the Associate Director here at the Notre Dame Newman Center for Faith and Reason in uh, Dublin City Center. So uh, a welcome to you from, we are actually in the Lady Chapel, this beautiful little chapel alongside the main church here in, um, in Dublin off St. Stephen's Green. And I'm the Director of Music and Liturgy here um, at the uh, Newman Center. Um, my history with this lovely nation goes way back to 1987. And back then, um, on my own, I actually came over to Ireland for a few weeks and did a long pilgrimage all around the, um, the island, visiting monasteries, different parish centers, meeting up with um, different uh, Irish church musicians. And I guess I could say that my fuse was lit and um, had a wonderful experience in, of um, meeting up with different Irish musicians. The next year, in 1988, um, about 14 of us strong of the Notre Dame Folk Choir made our first trip to Ireland. We had never toured before, um, not even in the United States. So our first trip to, um, to anywhere was to the Republic of Ireland. A magnificent uh, journey by those members of the Folk Choir. And we started coming back to this island every two to four years from 1988 all the way to 2016. So I knew Ireland pretty well. I think I'd sung at somewhere between 250 to 300 churches over the past 300 years. And then this little thing came up where um, Father Jenkins was approached by the Archbishop of Dublin, Dermot Martin, and um, made a really amazing um, gesture and invitation to the university to come and help steward uh, this amazing church, this beautiful church, so Father Bill Daly and myself and my wife Michelle came here and actually interestingly enough yesterday uh, September 28th was Michelle's and my four-year anniversary of being here in Dublin working at the Newman Center. So what do we do? Um, we have created a new ensemble called the Notre Dame Newman Vocari Ensemble and that group when it was up and running completely, um, had about 30 members in it. We've got some lovely singers from, um, from Dublin, and we sing at both the 11 o'clock on Sunday morning and the 6.15 Sunday evening liturgy. Uh, about a year ago, we created our first recording of sacred music with GIA Publications in Chicago called Easter in Ireland. A um, brand new recording of sacred music that really does celebrate um, the Irish genre, but brings it together with the choral traditions uh, with soprano, alto, and tenor, and bass, and guitar, and Ellen pipes, and flute, and harp. So um, it's been a really exciting uh, opportunity to come to a nation where one of the most important trademarks of Ireland is its music and uh, to be able to work shoulder to shoulder with some really, really talented musicians has been a wonderful thing for us. Last year, um, about this time, uh, a landmark event took place, and that was the canonization of the man who built this church, uh, John Henry Newman, now Saint John Henry Newman. We all piled into an airplane, which is something you can't do right now, and we went to Rome, and um, were present for the canonization liturgy, which, which was a really amazing event. And this year, on October 11th, is the one-year anniversary of St. John Henry Newman's canonization. And we'll be having, even in the midst of COVID, we're gonna be having a wonderful liturgy, socially distanced, but still creatively using our musical resources as best we possibly can to celebrate the canonization of this remarkable man. So um, greetings from us here in Dublin. Um, and if anybody is interested in any of the great work that's going on here, you can easily um, get access to any of that at newman.nd.edu. Have a great day.